Hello. So today I will talk about how to create a new web center portal application. Click on the new. Okay. Uh, here we have web center portal framework application. Uh, before you should have this feature, you have to you have to download from the web center extension from the help and check for the update. So I will give it name as demo application. Okay, demo. Demo. Click on the default thing. Okay. Click on the finish. It will take some time, and um, then our application will be generated. So the demo application has been created and if you see you have two structures one is the portal and one is the portal web assets. So in this uh, module we will have the, all the assets that should be used for the portal web application and this is the default structure we have the application sources and we have the web content here we can store the images here we can create some different GSP this is the default navigation model where we can define the navigation of the application. This is the navigation registry where we can define the registry of the navigation file. Uh, here we can, if you go to the page hierarchy, here you can define, uh, you can create some new pages, you can define the order of the pages, you can also define which of the roles it should be visible or not. Okay, and these are some default pages which will be created automatically when you create a web center portal application. Uh, these are some default page template. These are images. This is the default screen you will got uh, with the web center portal application. Okay. Uh, and these are some default configuration file which you talk about uh, when you create a portal application. Okay. Uh, so as of now, we will create, uh, go to the index HTML and click on run. And now we will start the integrated web logic server and it will automatically run the application. So wait for the some time, then we will have a running web center portal application. Okay, so now our application is running on the integrated web logic server. So we will go to the browser. Okay, so this is the default page. I mean, when you run any of the web center portal application, you can change the layout somehow. You can change this logo, you can change this title, tagline and so on. Okay. So we'll be logging into the application as weblogic, enter default password, click on the login. It will take some time. Okay, so now we are into the application, this is the default page, but it's blank as of now. Okay, so we'll click on the administration, we will create some new pages, and uh, okay, and uh, we'll create some new pages, some navigation, and so on. All right, so this is the web center portal administration control. Here we have the assets where, which, where we can define pages, we can create some new page template. Okay. This is the default template, which is already there, global page template and the sushi page template. Here you can define the navigation. This is the resource catalog. Uh, actually, from the resource catalog, we can uh, integrate with many of the task loads and content management integration and so on. Here, you can create some of your custom skins. Uh, there's a page style. This is the lookout for the content presenter, how you are going to go, go on to show that. Okay, there's a task load style, there's a page layer task load, and there's a data control. I mean, in the data control, you can create some, uh, you can write up some SQL queries and uh, you can create the data control and then you can integrate the data control in the task flow and so on. Okay, so talking about some services, the uh, web center provides some uh, default services. Here, if you want to integrate the web center content with the web center portal, 
here you should have i mean currently it's not available we have to make a connection to the enterprise manager so so on here you can add some external creation some portal producer and post and this step this is for security you can define some members roles and so on if you see the add user group group roles you can delete the member here you can define the configuration of them of the portal see here you can define you can change the portal okay i will change the base template here i will okay we will keep the default resource catalog as of now you can change the base resource url as well this is the default navigation we have this is the default description you can write up some expression builder as well here okay so we change the base template here and we will again go back to the portal so if you see the somewhat uh, the the template have been changed the logo and the colors have been changed have been changed okay so now we will create some new pages on this portal all right okay create new pages i will say new page you can change different page style you can change some page template you will keep it as it is can choose any of the page style here okay i will choose left narrow i will say create all right okay so if you see uh, now if you can see we have the home and we have the new page and we can define the order as well we will click that we want to show this page on the portal this is okay here you have some different actions you can edit copy rename you can define the access for this you can delete this page you can move Can so add the source as well. All right. Uh, so go to the back to the portal, and here we have then another page on the website. The portal is cool and it's awesome. So now you know how to create a website portal application. So you are good to go. Thank you. Thanks for the watching, and please let me know, let me know your thoughts about it. Thank you.